my entire body and soul <laughs> cracks me up. <laughs> This is, a, this is a, a clear metaphor. Everyone is just put in danger by Miyuki and Kaguya's relationship. Everyone's just caught in the crossfire. I sort of love it. I think it, maybe it's a flaw. It's a, a personality flaw. Or maybe not. Maybe it's great. I kind of like it. You know, I like the entire body and soul thing. I like the passion. I think I'm addicted to it. There's all this talk about being healthy and healthy relationships and toxic relationships and... I don't know. I just want my heart to be consumed. <laughs> and set a blaze. Yeah, set a blaze. I didn't realize the connection. Set your heart ablaze in love. I don't think Rokoko had a girlfriend though. Yeah, this is kind of rare for him. Shirogan and Miyuki wants to go stargazing. It's time to make up constellations. Can you know what they are? He will not put down this fan, and I get it. Oh, he's taking charge. Look at this guy. Does she just carry around like a box or a bag with head accessories? A little backstory. It's a really romantic skill. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this man. He just, he just loves it. He's alighting my heart with passion for stars. Yeah, ride this hype train. Why? Oh, because of graduation? Well, he added a little little thing there, a little emotional thing. Oh, come on. Get on the hype train, Kaguya. I feel like you're second place in this whole arrangement. Second place to astronomy. Oh no. Oh, he removed himself. I'm a little chilly. Yeah, there you go. This writes itself. Solid. Solid move given the jacket. That's a sort of a given. Way ahead of you. Is this like her confirming what I've been thinking recently? Where they're definitely moving. He wouldn't have done that in the beginning of this of the show. He would have overthought it. Am I wrong in saying that I feel like he's he's gone a little bit farther than her? Like he's come a little bit out of his shell a little bit more. I can't verify this at all, but I feel like he's doing less scheming now than she is. So she's made moves of her own. The birthday thing was a big deal. Cup kiss. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's where this is going. I feel like he's he's sort of chilling. <laughs> there he goes, yeah. I can see how that, that would fluster her. There's a confidence in this for Miyuki. <laughs> that's not all of it, though. There's been a progression. And also, he's in a good place right now. Oh no, competing with the heavens themselves. Heavens, watch out. And bring down the whole solar system. Let me take you on a journey through the stars. I can show you the world. <laughs> or in this case, the universe. Interesting in this date. <laughs> My dude is crushing it right now. Hell yeah. I feel like this is a, a spin-off of the Godfather theme. Wow. On a magic carpet ride. <laughs> this is definitely a ride. I don't know. Don't underestimate a man in his element. You know what I'm saying? This is a win. We don't even need to see the end of this. Battle outcome. Miyuki wins. Smashing defeat. Yeah, that's great. It's a great look. This is what you want. This is a date right here. Ooh, she's finding some connection to it. Oh no, is this some sort of foreshadowing? Or this is... I don't really know the legend that well, or at all, but it strikes me that this won't be foreshadowing of the outcome, but foreshadowing of the challenge. That's a big part of what seems to dominate Kaguya's struggle, is her two selves. You know, this emotional side of her that is somewhat represented by her interest in Miyuki, versus the structure and what she thinks she has to be and what she's expected to be. The struggle between emotional freedom and sort of control and safety. It ends up being a coming-of-age story through the lens of a war of love. Imagine hitting the moon, though. <laughs> It's depressing. <laughs> it's depressing as all hell. This I feel like is super, super key for the whole story. Yeah, but it will take a lifetime though, at this rate. <laughs> Crushing defeat of both Kage and the moon. And disintegration. 
Stop being so great. <laughs> Not again. I he just I get it though. Greatest can be terrifying. Wrong. Absolutely wrong. He literally played that better than anyone ever could have. Kage's in some danger because of how great that was. She's stuck playing catch up. I can see this going in a dark direction. And I was gonna say, weirdly, I think a natural reaction to that would be to try to bring him down, to spoil the mood. It's really tough once you associate leverage with love. There's a double-edged sword because you want your romantic interest to be amazing, but there's something scary about that too, because there's the fear of being left behind. If you're not solid, I can see how that would raise a bunch of insecurities. And for that matter, he sabotaged himself a little bit because he's not used to being in that space. The 67th Student Council. Ah, uh, because of elections. Is that why it's dissolving? They had their run. I remember that. It was episode 4. The scheming principle. I remember this episode because I forgot to make a YouTube version and it was lost forever. This is going to be a flashback episode or recap episode. I mean, this room has been such a, such a key thing. This room is a character in itself. The word game. I remember. This is going sequentially, I think. It's all from early episodes. Is it all from episode 4? <laughs> yeah, I got beat in the head with that. I'm about to relive that experience. Stop it, stop it, he's already dead. <laughs> yes, and she blushed at birds. I knew it! Yeah, she's the real mastermind of the whole show. <laughs> Still a memory. The toilet paper. It's a key item. It's not really over, is it? Be careful of the cake in the closet. Oh, what the hell? A secret base? That feeling when you're about to move out and you discover Narnia. I feel this way even about things I, I don't really like, places I don't really like. And this is a place that they really loved. Uh, here it comes! It's contagious. She's just expressing what they're already feeling on some level. But it's not over. It means so much more. It was a good tenure. So as most of you know, I was a teacher for a while. I started a high school in China for about two and a half years. It was my last teaching job. And I didn't love it. I mean, actually the school itself, the faculty, the students were, were incredible. It was probably one of the best teaching jobs I ever experienced. It's just more my nature and the fact that teaching never really gelled with me. It just doesn't align well with a lot of the things I like. And then you add in inevitable cultural differences and just the fact that work can be difficult. You know, just about any job has its difficulties. And maybe mainly because it was only tangentially related to future goals. Only in the sense that it was an income. And it can be tough to work a job that you feel isn't aligned with your, your vision of yourself in your life. So for all those reasons, I was sort of looking forward for a very long time to moving on. But I remember distinctly that day coming and packing up my stuff and feeling really sad because I'd made a lot of memories there. I was really close to not only faculty members, but to students that I'd watched grow up, basically. You know, I think I met some of them at the very beginning of their sophomore year and watched them go until seniors and help them prepare for college admissions and stuff like that. And realizing that while I might be in touch with some of them again, for the most part, that was it. You know, for the most part, I, w I just wouldn't hear from any of them again or talk to any of these people again. Never make that same commute. Had a routine that had kind of kept me going through that period of my life. And it was weird how even some of the difficult moments or memories became more poignant and become became more meaningful, more significant to me in that in that final day and so i left with a feeling of gratitude and also a little bit of regret that i didn't appreciate it more you know i didn't appreciate the moment and maybe the most poignant of all there was a mixture of pride at the feeling that i'd given it my all and also regret at the feeling that maybe i could have done more and it's tough because you don't want to beat yourself up it's really difficult to be fully present of every great thing every moment and not to let the, the negative emotions arise the tedium of work etc but i definitely get the feeling of moving out of an office <laughs> having to be really poignant and the, they love this a lot more than i love that is this the family restaurant? <gasps> no. You gotta give this back? I should let you keep it. Who are you without your gold brooch? Soda Kampai. Kaguya doesn't want to say his name. Every anime restaurant looks like Saizuria to me. Anyone know Saizuria? <laughs> Smash the like button if you know what Saizuria is. That'll give me one extra like on this video. That's <laughs> oh, an augulette. My apologies. 
正解と権。ワールドパークス。資格取得のご助金などの特典が与えられる。宮地院理事会推薦状は世界中の大学や研究機関へのプレミアムチケットであり。あ、ミスプリマッチセットは、ビングトップオブヒスクラス、プレゼ
as well. If you are still maintaining your, you know, your rationality and your respect, kindness, I think for certain people, it can actually be an admirable thing that you're able to express yourself while having other traits that, that are seen as solid or good. They've sort of been living in this limbo where they obviously like each other and they want to hide that fact. And it works for them, like I said, because of their mutual interests from the beginning and because of the fact that they just spend so much time together, they don't have to. But if that had gone that direction, if it had gone in a way that they're no longer meeting in the club room, that might've been the death of them. And a similar feeling arises if I think about someone really, really moving in on Miyuki or Kaguya for that matter. The more so for Miyuki for some reason. Maybe it's because Kaguya seems to be a little bit more of like a binary thinking or a categorization type thinker where she chooses what she wants and then nothing else is, is satisfactory. Miyuki seems a little bit more warm and open in that regard.